What we expect from this budget or this government is actually a process delivery of what has happened before. If you look at the five, if you look at last five years, the expectation and the delivery and the focus, be it demonetization, be it tax reforms, or be it GST, everything was a sort of reform. So primarily, I can say the last government was a government of reforms. If we look at this tenure, two point oh version of new government. they have major mandate they have strong confidence and they have belief and support system of entire nation so this is again a time for delivery into many sectors into many reforms which they have done to hold a kind of growth so this when we talk about changes delivery growth these all are very correlated with economy so if i have to term this new government into one word i'll say this government will be a government of economy when we say economy then what kind of economy we are referring to we are referring to economy which is circular in nature which is bringing all resources availability of uh, manpower availability of technologies and the intelligence which we are spending abroad cross borders into some circular ecosystem where it works for government and it brings growth when it brings when we are referring to growth there are sectors there are uh, majority of uh, areas where we see lots of changes in delivery if you want me to list them i'll say uh, energy is one of the very important sector energy is going to impact all other sectors because uh, the cost of energy the efficiency of delivery of energy uh the availability of energy to its uh, to rural areas and to semi urban areas everything is very important so our switch over from conventional energy to high tech energy smart utility smart utility grids or new kind of technologies which increases our efficiency is very important so energy is an area where we see lots of changes we expect a very good budget for energy a very good framework for energy in the union budget second and third sectors manufacturing and service these two are very correlated if you look at manufacturing manufacturing is dependent on technology on the kind of product and services which manufacturing industry produces for the service industry like something which i am using on roads it will be called automobiles something which you use at your home is a product which is a uh, which is an end result of a technology and people's efficiency so everything which a manufacturing sector produces makes if energy uh, service sector more efficient than before when service sector is more efficient it brings money it does things which were difficult to do in that short time and short uh, input but just because of few product which has came from manufacturing it the in, in energy and the efficiency increases when energy and efficiency increases we earn money and again this entire human technology intelligence and other thing so back to the manufacturing new products come So this is how service economy work. So services and manufacturing are very key areas. Uh, union budget, I I would believe that budget will be focused. Fourth and very important sector, in India it's it's a huge country with one point one hundred and thirty five crore people. If we have to look at the transportation, how things reaches to us, where it is getting manufactured, where people are using it, is there is a transportation. system which works via rail via air via road so we have to the last government have been very aggressive from bot or from hybrid nut model or whatever uh, work which was done by ministry of road transport and uh, aviation and uh, from technology point of view and from the efficiency in building roads so they have developed infrastructure now we will be focusing on the mode of transportation the focus in this budget would be and we expect it to be on uh, conversion from the conventional fuel transportation to green energy transportation and i think government has already taken and it is it has shown a very aggressive move in this sector but one thing i'll be very candid with when we are talking about union budget is if government says because government has to support few things into transportation sector if they say we are hand holding e mobility we are hand holding uh, you can say lithium ion battery or kind of technologies also which we are looking 
other than these four sectors i like artificial intelligence iot machine learning 3d printing lithium ion batteries or geospatial robotics automation smart energy utilities then there should be a visible uh, and transparent policy framework both from the regulatory side and from the taxation side this is what we expect from this union budget